Steve Summers and Robbie Boydston, FreeDuck.com. Robbie, it's uh, another week, and uh, let's talk about Oregon football recruiting. Let's do it. Yeah, actually, there's there's a lot to talk about this week. We got plenty of news coming in. Um, we'll start with uh, a couple of people I got to talk to um, uh, out of El Cerrito. I talked uh, early, late last week, uh, uh, last Saturday after we did our video, um, to uh, Darius Pickett, uh, pretty very talented cornerback out of there. Um, he's been talking to Oregon quite a bit, actually. He doesn't have an offer from them, but he says he's been talking to John Neal. John Neal likes the way he plays uh, cornerback. He's hoping to get an, uh, a visit up to Oregon. He's hoping to get an invite to the opening camp, and he said if he did get that, he would then make the effort to go out and visit Oregon, check that out. Hopefully an offer would come out of that. Uh, talk to his teammate, Jalen Harvey, who does have an Oregon offer. Uh, he's listed as wide receiver, but Oregon wants him to play defense. He's uh, John Neal is mainly his contact. Um, he's the one who offered him and uh, Harvey did say that it doesn't really matter where he plays and that Neil's very even though there's not a visit scheduled yet he said Neil talked to him and said that he thinks he can come in and make an impact and so he said he's willing to make an impact on any side of the ball he said he's a playmaker uh, and he's, he's very excited to you know kind of see what Oregon's about um, and then we got a couple visitors this week as well. Uh, we found out from Craig Loper last, uh, that last week Morgan Mahalik, a uh, quarterback at a Kentfield, California place for Marin, uh, he came out to visit Oregon. He doesn't have an offer. He didn't exit with an offer, but he said Oregon pretty much uh, just, uh, rolled out the red carpet for him. And so they, he went in there, watched practice, uh, enjoyed, liked what he saw, saw how efficient they were, uh, spent some time with Coach Frost, Coach Helfridge. Uh, a lot of the players came up, came up and introduced themselves to him. Uh, he said he really liked that. It was a personal approach. Um, and he says, you know, an offer could be coming, you know, next month or so. Um, he'll be keeping an eye out on that. As far as visitors for this week, uh, Ian Bunting, a uh, tight end, he's got an offer from Oregon. Uh, they offered him over a month ago. Um, he's with uh, he's out of uh, Hinsdale in Illinois, and he's uh, we've talked about him before. He's a he's a tight end. He plays wide receiver. He's used as a deep threat in high school, um, and he's a guy who he covers a lot of ground without making it look too hard. He's not you know he takes long strides. He's not taking short speed steps, um, and he's just a huge target. And he just seems kind of like a a prototypical Oregon tight end to me. And uh, he's uh, someone he's he's out there this weekend. He's checking it out. He's going to be. Uh, checking it out with Henry Mondu, who's a Portland uh, prospect, goes to Jesuit High School. Uh, he does not have an offer as of yet, but talking to him, he thinks one could be close. He's been talking to a few schools. He's already got offers from a few Pac-12 schools already, and uh, he's really interested in checking out everything this weekend. They said they're getting him in early this week to make sure that he gets uh, time with practice, uh, time to sit in with meetings, and um, just check out everything. Well, uh, I noticed that uh, Brandon Huffman uh, posted a uh, a report on a recruit, a running back, big running back out of California. Oh, Royce Freeman. Yes, he's a very big running back, six foot two twenty. A lot of people are excited about this kid because he's just he's he's a big big guy. He kind of reminds people that that Thunderback Oregon used to have to come up a compliment with the Lightning, and he thinks that Oregon will. Uh, He's been talking to Oregon quite a bit. He's excited about Oregon. Um, he wants to come out and visit Oregon. He doesn't have an offer yet, but he thinks one could be coming very soon. Uh, definitely a kid to keep tabs on. Uh, very talented running back, for sure. Now, I want to sort of explain something. Um, he's currently listed as a, a three-star running back, but when you look at the list of offers that he has, he's got a ton of offers uh, from uh, everyone around the country. Likely in the process that Scott goes through, that rating is going to go up because you have to equate the number of offers that a guy like that has. It's, he's got that NFL type body size uh, that translates well to going up to the next level. I, I would guess that he's, his star rating is going to go up. I would guess so too, and and actually that's that could happen with a couple people. Uh, and Bun Bunting's one of those one of those players. If you look at his offer list, he's got dozens of schools as well. Uh, you look, it, it's just very deep, and from big schools, Ohio State, Notre Dame, uh, USC, uh, Stanford's showing some interest in him. Haven't had an offer, but they they could down the line. Um, you're going to see a lot of these players that the star rating doesn't seem to really match up with the amount of offers or maybe. Uh, what you see on film, mm -hmm. um, so and it's all about just getting out there and evaluating these these players live. So I think as we get going along, especially once the football season resumes in the fall and these kids go back out there and kind of show what they can do, again these ratings will be uh, revised. Right, and, and it's it's always important to remember that that uh, 
folks who are rated high uh, initially on the initial uh, ratings can go down, and obviously there's players that uh, we haven't even heard of yet, they go up. So, Correct, yeah, and it's it's almost, you know, take it with a little bit of grain of salt, um, but at the same time, you know, it, they do their best to, to make it as accurate as possible given what they have seen so far. So you got to remember what, you, what you're seeing there is just what, what Scout has seen. Doesn't mean they've seen everything they can do yet. That's correct. So anyway, so it looks like there's a lot of activity going on in Oregon recruiting. Uh, obviously with spring football, even though the media is not allowed to go inside practice and see what's going on, um, uh, still there's uh, the players and, and their coaches are, are allowed to go in and uh, visit the uh, ducks and see the how they practice so uh, a lot to look forward to definitely and there's uh, and knowing that the Oregon's got knowing who they've got this weekend uh, we'll be in contact with those players trying to get an update see how they like their visits uh, and trying to get more of those in the future trying to find out especially nearing spring ball Oregon's going to want to bring athletes in to kind of check out how they run things how they do practices and uh, checking out the spring game itself uh, like we said next week uh, Mitchell McGraw is going to be uh, or actually in two weeks Mitchell McGraw is safety out of uh, uh, Louisiana will be there. And then I actually talked to Sam Jones, who has an offer from Oregon. He's a 6'5", 275 uh, offensive lineman out of Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Um, he hasn't spoke much, but I talked to him, and he said that he will be at Oregon at the end of the month to visit as well. So we, we're getting a feel of who Oregon wants to bring in, who they're trying to evaluate. Um, and, and basically, these are kids that we think down the line are, if they don't have offers, they'll probably get offers. Um, and if they do have offers, it's kind of rolling out the red carpet to say, this is why you should come to Oregon. Well, uh, we'll we'll pick this up next week. So uh, for Robbie Boydston, this is Steve Summers with educk